Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And it is a new week, which means we've got our week four of the Sidecast Quest Terror Twister. It's hard to say that a bunch of times. So uh, we are looking at a Rhino boss. So let's take a look at what we got here. We're going to be doing this at threat level five. And this is the team we're going to be using, Human Torch, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Particularly those two, they're going to be used for the last fight. Absorbing Man, Photon, and Dr. Doom are going to get us through the rest of it. Let's take a preview. Uh, first, first off, if you don't know where to get your tickets after all of this time, you go into the solo events. And if you go down here to... Uh, da, 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 where grand opening your tickets are in here you hit the more rewards so i've already collected all my tickets so we're going to get you know four tickets we're going to get a magnetron crystal and we're going to get four sets of 750 mysterium so 3000 mysterium and then we've got another week of this which is next week that's why it says six days so if you don't know where to get them that's where you get them okay let's get back into this Murder World Terror Twister Side Quest. And how are we going to get this done? Okay. Always look at the champs first. We're going to take the South Path, which starts off with a Mystic who has the Trap Node Trigger of Supercharge. So every 15 seconds, Rhino is going to activate a Power Gain buff, granting 20% of their maximum power over 10 seconds. So we're going to have to deal with that. That's not really the worst thing we're going to deal with. Okay. Okay. So this one's got in your face, intercepting the defender's dash attack with a striker, grants an attack, fury, I don't care. And then they also have supercharge, so they get the same thing, so they're going to be getting a whole bunch of power. We're probably going to bring in Photon. She's got some pressure, so we can kind of deal with that. We got a, a Cosmic here who's got explosive personality. So whenever the defender blocks, so we hit their block a bunch of times, they're going to get a bunch of armor ups, and then they're going to blow up, and then we're going to be taking some damage. And then re repetitive hate. Each time the attacker throws the same special in a row, the defender gains a fury, so we don't care about that. We won't do that. Then we've got this tech. We don't know who it is. They're going to have bubble shield. Each time the attacker blocks an attack, the block proficiency reduces by four percent after 10 stacks then the defender becomes unblockable don't think that's going to be a problem and then we've got hail and hardy so whenever we the attacker gains a bar of power the defender gains a regen buff we're going to be doing enough power uh damage i don't think we're gonna have to worry about the regen um and then the, the regen buff is removed if the defender is knocked down with a heavy attack then we've got a mystic and uh i think with um this one right here we're probably gonna end up using photon uh we'll do photon dr doom photon photon and then probably uh dr doom maybe for this mystic up here we'll do absorbing man uh just depends it just depends. Uh, not for that Mystic, I'm sorry. For this Cosmic right here. It just depends on who the Cosmic is. I was thinking about bringing a Juggernaut in, but if they throw out one of these Cosmics that throws down a whole bunch of debuffs immediately, like a Null, then you're stuck. And he doesn't really do anything. When Juggernaut's on, he's on. When he's not, he's not. Okay, this one's got Now You See Me. So every six seconds, the attacker is inflicted with a Falter. This is the one of the nodes we have to pay attention to giving them a 100% chance to miss for three seconds. That's every six seconds we get that. And then it's got immovable, immovable objects, so every 15 seconds. The attacker's combo meter, uh, in, every 15 hits in the attacker's co combo meter creates a steadfast buff, which allows us to block an unblockable. Then they've got, now you see me every eight seconds, the attacker is inflicted with a falter, giving them a 100% miss chance. So they also get that too. Now, Rhino is going to have, for this run, Rhino's going to have Supercharge, Hail and Hardy, and Now You See Me. So the big one is Now You See Me. I'm not too worried about Hail and Hardy. Supercharge, maybe, we just got to mitigate power gain a little bit. And then they're going to have Ricochet. So while the attacker's back is against the wall, defender special attacks cannot be avoided with dexterity. I'm not really going to worry about that. We got Repetitive Hate. 
Each time the attacker throws the same special in a row, the defender gains a fury. I'm not really going to worry about that. We can remove them with heavies and then whittle down. So this is, you want to make sure that you've got a champ that's one, going to put a lot of debuffs on because of whittle down. So defender takes 60% less damage while they have no debuffs applied to them. For each debuff on the defender, this damage reduction is decreased by 20% or, uh, you, and or you want somebody that can take care of this now you see me. Um, that can hit. So I'm going to bring in, uh, so we're probably going to bring in a Human Torch and then uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider on top of that. So Cosmic Ghost Rider puts debuffs on Human Torch. We can do debuffs with the Human Torch, uh, which are the, um, so he has a couple of different things that he does. If we put the Nova Flame on, then they're not necessarily debuffs, they're passives which is a problem. So, um, and his temperature, so uh, at 10 or higher, his attacks are so intense they cannot miss, so the falter stuff is not going to be a problem. Um, the incinerates are all debuffs. But if we go into Nova Form, Nova Flame, then Nova Flame deals energy damage over time. An opponent with a power sting, all of the abilities are Nova Flame. So... Um, the Nova Flames are not necessarily debuffs, they're passives. And we really kind of want to avoid that because we need to have debuffs. So, so I may not turn his Nova Flame on. All right, let's get into it. Let's go for it. And of course, the South Path is going to be that. So, okay, so our first one is a Jane Foster. So this one should be pretty straightforward. And what are we looking out for? We're looking out for supercharge for the most part okay and and this is a rank three seven star awakened uh photon so she should be able to just blast her boom 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 and i would prefer that she did a special two instead of a uh, special one. So her her power is creeping up. Because her special two is easier to dodge. There's no ranged part of her special two. So the dexing of that is much easier. Okay, easy peasy, no problem. We just had to mitigate. And we're getting uh, objectives for our track stuff. Okay, so if I had brought a Juggernaut in, he would have been good for this guy because this guy doesn't put any debuffs on. But as it is, we are going to, um, because he gets Unstoppables, we're going to go ahead and bring in Absorbing Man because Absorbing Man will shut off Unstoppables. He, I think he reduces the duration of Unstoppables by like 90%. So boom, boom. One, two, three, four. He, he will eventually get one. Okay, we want to get this charged up here. Nice, lots of damage. And we, we, we want to hit him now with as many heavies as we can. He's going to... Okay, this should take him out, and it does. Okay, yeah, the heavies do roughly thirty to 50,000 points of damage because there's a bunch of... Uh, especially if he's uh, forged, or whatever it's called. Um, because... Uh, he does a bunch of extra burst damage. Okay. So this one is one I don't like. Um, we are not going to Cosmic Ghost Rider this. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do this. And what do we got to watch out for this? The guy's got Hail and Hardy, so I can reverse that with Photon pretty easily. And then Bubble Shield, which I'm not worried about. And she should be starting. She's starting at 25, which means she's going to be doing a ton of damage. Okay, you want to keep this guy to a special one. Come on, dude. There he goes. And, uh, oh, he, that's right. He's got an auto block. All right. We should got him. Okay, we got him. Easy. We, we, and I think we're, 
I don't think we're at 25. We're way down now. So we did a couple of parries. Okay, I'm going to be bringing in a... Uh, we'll bring in Photon again. And what do we got to be careful for her? Uh, obstinate charge, so there's not going to be any parries that happen at the beginning because she's going to come at us uh, with the first attack and then whittle down. We're going to put enough debuffs on to get rid of that. Easy peasy. So no parries right off the bat. It, it, the, my parry is going to fail. And there it failed. So we just have to be cognizant that it's going to fail. That one worked. Because it it's on cooldown right now. That one didn't work. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. She's gone. She's gone. Totally gone. Easy peasy. Photon is so awesome. So awesome. All right, we're almost done with that, too. Okay, this is a 5%, I believe. All right, so this is another Cosmic. I got to look at who the Cosmics were. We're going to go back. I want to look. I want to see who these are because I might be able to bring Juggernaut in. So I can bring Juggernaut in against Medusa, and I can bring Juggernaut in against... Oh, I don't... Okay, uh, I think the other one was... The champion. So I may bring in Juggernaut for the next run when we do the top path. I was just worried about a null. It's a couple of... Uh, we're going to do Doom. Doom's very effective against him. There's a couple of Cosmic Champs that, that Juggernaut just does not work with at all. He gets his gem turned off right away because of debuffs. And I forgot to look and see what I'm worried about. I don't think I was really worried about anything. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, I want... Yeah, that's what I wanted this guy to do. All right. And we're going to hit him with a special three... Got tagged a little bit, and that's okay. Skip, and we can just take him out now. Easy peasy. All right. And finally, the boss. We're going to start... Uh, I think we're going to start with... Human Torch. Now, again, I don't want to turn on his... Because this guy's got... Whittle Down. The Nova Flames don't... And the power stings don't count as debuffs. So let's verify that. We go back to champion info. Okay, is immune, immune, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, there. So his incinerates are Nova Flames. They deal additional damage. Temperature, temperature, temperature. Incinerates. Um... Incinerates, incinerates, incinerates. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, Nova Flame passives instead. That's the big thing. And he inflicts power sting, but those are power sting passives. So we want to watch out for that. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use him, but we're not gonna turn his Nova Flame on. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep him going. Now I gotta parry this guy, which I can do. If, if he doesn't do that. If he does... So, he's got... Oh, man, there it is. There it is. So, he's got an ability accuracy that gives him that stupid... Uh, unblockable. It gives him a dumb unblockable, and if he gets it, then it's done. He got that twice in a row, and he doesn't have a very high chance of getting that. Let's see. What is his chance of getting that stupid unblockable? Um, impacts from Rhino's Dash have a chance to be unblockable. This chance decreases the bigger the opponent is. So, I guess it's... we're. You know, I guess it's because we were like medium. Okay. 
We want to do that. And one, two, three, four. Okay, this is what I wanted right here. And we want the power gain. And now... Now we're going to be doing full damage. So if I probably should have started with him to begin with. Yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider just destroys him. Because I put that Vigilance on. So that's medium, light, 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 medium. That puts a Vigilance on. So I have, I have zero mischance. If I go medium, light, 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 then it's a power gain. So I started out with the medium, light, 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 medium to get that. And that worked out fine. I unfortunately got a couple of unblockables against me with Human Torch. That didn't really work out. I don't like that, but it is what it is. All right, those are our rewards. That is the that is the match. Pretty easy. Not too bad this week. Um, and we got one of our objectives, and we got to do this four times. So, all right, that is the video I got for everybody. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody.